in one of my previous video i created a application with the socket io library to multi-room chat application in node.js today's video i'm going to talk about the video chatting and audio chatting uh, with a peer-to-peer -peer connection so i'm using peer.js library socket io library as well and i'm using https access if you can see uh, this url this is https and i'm using the ip address this is because i want to access the same url uh, on my mobile phone so uh, and uh, for the audio and video restrictions provided in the modern browsers you cannot access that without the https access so for that for that reason we need to enable the https you need a personal certificate you can simply create with the open ssl or uh, mk cert which i do i provided the mk cert and uh, the uh, url in my case it is the ip address of my current um, and it will generate two files the key file and pam uh, file you need these two files in your code and in the server side what i'm doing is i'm accessing the fs library and https and enabling the express server uh, with https server and for the https server i provide these two files and after that i'm enabling socket io library and uh, the express peer server and uh, for that peer server i'm enabling the debug uh, true and uh, i'm just setting this uh, with the public and everything else is same as in the node.js uh, the thing which is changed is that we enable the peer server as well the io.on connection in this on connection we just console log that a new user is connected or disconnected uh, once disconnected uh, we just uh, uh, put in the console log and we have a, a few functions here uh, with the call user some if someone calls we console log it and socket dot to data dot user id and make answer reject call and all these kind of functions uh, these are not uh, not just uh, very focused on it let's move to the index.html file in the in the index.html file we use the bootstrap uh, to styling our uh, code and we enable the uh, peer.js file the socket.io uh, and all these cdns and in the styling we just uh, uh, added some media query which is not required if you don't want to and uh, the main part is the body in the body tag we just uh, create our div uh, to uh, add the my peer id and if you see here this is my peer id in this case and uh, for this peer id we need to connect uh, from the peers and uh, in uh, inside uh, this div uh, we created uh, two elements uh, for the video uh, we need to mute uh, this as well and uh, place in line as well so it will enable the audio and video uh, for your video it is muted and for the remote video it plays the audio and we uh, put some id so we can access that in javascript uh, inside this we have two buttons and uh, one is call button and one is hang up button so inside the script tag we are accessing the remote elements of our remote video and local video we are creating a new instance with the peer we are creating an instance for the socket with the io instantiation and inside this peer dot on open when this is open we just put my id uh, to the dev of the my id so it will display the grunt peer id onto this after that what we need to do is we are simply uh, enabling a navigator with the media devices uh, get user media we enable the video and audio to true inside this media query we are just local video service object to stream and a local stream set to stream as well and once call inside this and this is the I, uh, peer id that we need to connect on the remote side so if you enable the call button you need to enter this peer id of your remote peer here so i will do that on my mobile phone i will just uh, uh, click on a call button enter my id and uh, that stream uh, would be enabled here so i just uh, put a tape on my camera of the laptop but this is a uh, camera on my mobile phone it will enable the peer connection we can just hang up the call so 
uh, that uh, would uh, uh, click on the hang up to do that and this is a call button i don't know uh, the hang up is uh, i think not working or we need to press the hang up yeah so we need to press the hang up uh, from the side where we put the call on so that will hang up the call like this so now uh, no more uh, calling from uh, the client side uh, remote side so if you go back on the coding section here we have a peer dot on call uh, we just call dot answer on the local stream and the call dot on stream uh, we just uh, put a dot on stream and remote object most of the code is not working and uh, we are just uh, uh, explaining the code that is the main part of the code so we just uh, duck, uh, in a disable uh, the hang up button uh, to the false so that we enable the hang up uh, on the client side and uh, when we up uh, the call button clicked we prompt user to enter the peer id when it put a peer id we just peer dot call with that peer id and the local stream and uh, once we uh, stream we came here and uh, set this remote instance and after that we add a hang up button listener and we just close this call and we just hang up to enable and disable so this is uh, the call button logic is what making all of your uh, streaming and the peer-to-peer -peer call and uh, that's the only logic that you need and uh, that's the server side and the client side code so all you need is these two codes i will put that uh, the link to the code in the comment section so you can see and uh, follow me for more videos like this hit comments uh hit like button and uh, send me any comment you have